Yo, what's going on guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best free video editing software that is available. This is a very good video editing software. I used to use the earlier version of it when I first got into YouTube. It was very good, but then it started lying on my computer for some reason, but now this is an even better version. So to download this, you're going to want to come up to here and search up Hit Film for Express. So once you come here, you'll see all these come up. Click download hit from 4 Express. So once you do that, click get for free. Once you do that, you're going to have to sign in or create an account. You can really do anything. Let me just sign in quick and show you guys how to do it. So once you sign into that, you're just going to want to click download for Windows. I have already downloaded and installed the program. But once you download it, you're just going to have to click down here to get it. And once you click down there to get it, there should be an option to like install it once you're installing it there will be different settings you can use I would recommend just using the typical settings once you download it and I will now show you guys the editor so as you can see this is the loading screen for hit film for Express there's just a setting right here you can buy all these starter packs if you want but I don't really need to since I already have my other video editor but you can also do it without buying it and it's still a video good a very good video editor so once you come here you can click new or you can open up a project just click new up here and can set it to whatever settings you want so I would recommend putting good settings on here 60 FPS is what I use you could use 30 it all depends on your preference so I'll do 1080 by 1920 and once we do that I'll just configure the settings a little bit so you guys can actually see it. So you could use aspect ratio at that. You could use really just keep it at the hertz of that. Put at the maximum of MSAA so it has the highest quality and click start editing. So as you see once you click start editing this will pop up. What you're going to want to do is drag a media into here by clicking import or you could just drag it from your desktop. So as you can see here I have a random video that I never really edited it and you can see right here that it's on here what you're gonna want to do is drag this onto the timeline right here as you can see it actually popped up on the timeline now it will take a second to load but once it's loaded this is what it should pretty much look like and yeah so I can drag along the video it might be a little laggy since you are video editing this but that's the main basic part now as you can see here you can slice it which will actually it's similar to splitting it as you can see right here now once you have selected wherever you want to be just right click right click on it once you've selected the video click slice you can more precisionly slice it as you can see there now I've shortened the video a little bit so it's just easier to show you guys what it's doing here and as you can see this is basically the simplest stuff that's all you have to do when it's simple but here's some more interesting stuff you can add they do have effects you can audio reverse have it echo have it sound a little bit there's audio things that you can use to make it sound good you can blur it diffuse it radial zoom color correction options color grading distorting it generate you can add stuff into it gradients grunge keying lights and flares particles of simulation quick 3d scene sharpen stylize temporal transitions for the audio transitions for the video transitions for video well, not transitions video cleanup wrap and presets so these are the things that you can also use this is just a simple tutorial to how to use it if you guys want to see a lot of these being used then like the video Tell me if you guys want me to actually make a video showing how to use all these features and I will do it. But once you finish doing that, you'll have to export your video. And by the way, another way that you can cut down the lag when you're doing this is by clicking here and clicking quarter and by changing this to something that's a little bit lower quality and it should make it less laggy while you're looking at it once you've done that you're going to click export right here and once you export there's actually a um, thing that you might have to go through as I did just click here to activate sign in and you should get it for free 
So as you can see here, click restart now and you will restart it and the activation will continue. So now as you can see, this is how you save by clicking on this and I'll restart the software now so I can show you guys how to do it once I have saved it. So as you can see here, I have the export for YouTube and before image so because API. I would recommend either uploading it straight to YouTube if you want or MP4. MP4 is preferable for me. And you will have to increase the level to 60 FPS. You can use a variable or constant bit rate. For me, I recommend constant at this, or you could use it if you want to have a smaller file size at a different level. But I'll go ahead, render the video, and export video and audio, because so you could just export the audio to make like different edits to it. And I use a high bit rate for my audio so I'll just use 320 and I'll export the video. You export it you can also choose where to save it. Save it to wherever you would like as I said earlier and then I'll keep going from there. So as you guys can see the video has finished exporting just click OK or play and OK you'll find it on your desktop and as you can see here look the video is edited pretty high quality video it's just lagging a bit because I'm recording at the same time as watching it but it's high quality it is a good video editing software overall, so I'd really recommend you get it if you are looking in the market for a free video editing software right now. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys thought about it if you want more helpful content like this. Like the video and I'll upload more. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye.